in Los Angeles, California. A man gets robbed in broad daylight in the middle of the street. Wow, this is wild. But the second camera angle is showing that he was boxed in by three vehicles. They're robbing them. The saddest part is, I know this intersection off La Brea, and looking to see what building is directly across the street is none other than their police department where apparently they got away with half a million dollars worth of diamonds, not to be mistaken with the other $500,000 jewelry robbery that took place in New York City one day earlier, or the other $500,000 jewelry robbery that took place in California last month. So what's really going on in Los Angeles County, where people stopped playing GTA 5 level heist on their PlayStation and started doing them at the police station? Well, LAPD has been blaming their woke district attorney. Until George Gascon's gone and we get politicians elected that put public safety first and politics second, uh, then we might see a turnaround. And what does he mean by this? Well, just yesterday, Gascon suspended one of his prosecutors over using the wrong pronouns, as Fox reports that the prosecutor was working a case on a pedo bear accused of murder, as the defendant has a long criminal history but only identified as female after pleading guilty to attacking a 10-year-old girl in a Denny's bathroom, where the prosecutor found jailhouse phone calls where the defendant was joking about using gender identity to evade punishment. And due to Gascon's policies, the 26-year-old would be held in a juvenile facility Facility. So the prosecutor expressed that they didn't want to be phobic or mean, but wanted to call out that Gascon's policies were going to put a convicted pedo bear thrown in a juvenile jail as a woman. And I understand this is a very complicated scenario, but in response to someone saying, hey, progressive policies might be taken advantage of and might be putting kids in danger, Gascon responds by punishing law enforcement again? But our criminal justice system isn't the only institution to blame. Check out what California's Governor Gavin Newsom is doing while citizens are fleeing the state at never before seen rates. Well, this month on Twitter, he's complaining about Texas. He's been complaining about Missouri. And again, he's complaining about Florida and Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, where Newsom has this bizarre obsession session with DeSantis, where he constantly gossips about the wildly popular Florida governor. And I know I have a lot of awful analogies on this channel, but I'm watching Governor Newsom as he stares down Governor DeSantis, and it's very clear that they're both eyeballing the same presidential seat. And it really feels like it's the manager of a McDonald's watching the manager of a Burger King. And they both want the job as a manager of a Wendy's because they feature a baked potato. And to get that job, this clown thinks talking trash about the king is somehow going to make people forget that his location's currently flooded or just a few months ago it was on fire, or anything to distract people from realizing that his location simply does not function when enduring any type of hardship. And Californians like myself are starting to realize, no matter how much you campaign about the spooky Florida man, it doesn't make our state any better. Because what could possibly be in Newsom's updated campaign against DeSantis? Or join us in California, but we still believe in freedom. Yes, come visit the stars and beautiful Hollywood. Experience nature and handmade rafts as you drift through the LA River that doubles as our sewer system. Absorb the culture in sunny Venice Beach. And unwind next to bonfires in any of our downtown locations. Because to beat Newsom in a presidential race, all DeSantis, or any Democrat, would need to do is livestream any downtown area of California and superimpose Newsom tweets on how much safer he thinks you would be if only you were just a little more defenseless. Because I see Newsom cheering on Biden for calling the banning of assault variants after the horrific incident that occurred in California, where the criminal used the same type of weapon that is already banned in California. So either he's cheering on more laws that didn't work here, or he's just blindly cheering on Biden not knowing the details of what's actually happening in his state. And I don't know know which reality is worse. Because I would also like to create a society where incidents like Monterey Park will never happen again. I'm just not a fan of watching policies fail, but still letting politicians collect their participation trophies. So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted commentary on what's really going on in the world, hopefully I've earned your subscription and maybe even a like, then go check out the video on how being chased with axes has become just part of life in the liberal utopia that is Seattle.